Welcome back guys, I am Muni from smarttutorials.net. This is a series of tutorials on how to send an email with attachment using PHP. Please check the video description for the demo and download link. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to send an email with attachment from your local host using PHMailer. I will cover the two solutions. The solution one is do the configuration changes at the server level in PHP and I. The solution two is do the SMTP setup at the project level. So in the in solution one, you need to do SMTP configuration changes in the PHP and I. So for example, SMTP and port from which email you are uh, sending. Uh, sending so send mail path you need to so for example the the first one send mail path is for windows so, um, the second one is if you're using OS ubuntu or mac the send mail path will be different so also uh, then you need to create send mail dot ini and uh, provide this smtp uh, configurations so once you done these changes next you need to restart the server and so that whatever the changes you made in php and I will take effect after successfully restart the server next go and create the page file um, write the mail uh, functionality then send the mail from your localhost now it will send from your uh, mail will be sent successfully from your localhost the next is a uh, page mailer supports the smtp so um, you you do SMTP configuration when you're sending mail using page mailer okay so this is what we followed uh, throughout this tutorial I created config.php uh, where I kept with the SMTP uh, configurations so host and port username so please replace with your gmail id and password so um, this configuration I gonna use in the mail now i included the config.php in the mail.php uh, also i provided the configuration we defined in the config.php to the page mailer okay also i enable the um, insecure connections via smtp options if you don't have the proper ssl configuration in your local server you need to enable it otherwise smtp server won't connect but it is not recommended at the if you do these changes in the live server because it will create unnecessary securities because of localhost i just enable the insecure connections so if you do this uh, if you are gonna use the gmail smtp uh, then this the it will not make connection to the the smtp so google smtp server also you need to do one more changes in your google account you need to go to my account google.com and security app and allow less secure apps because we are making insecure connection right you need to allow the insecure connection uh, to connect to your account once that done um, you can send a mail from your localhost that will be delivered mail sent successfully yeah we got the mail from your localhost okay um in next uh, couple of tutorials i'm gonna cover uh, how to refactor the code uh, so far we written also i will cover how to create a response uh, how to create a response email template thanks for watching please subscribe and press the bell icon to get the updates immediately